Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is Beyond Desktop. And today we're gonna to take a look at how you can use the background checkbox and layout to create some cool looking images. Okay, so uh, this is something that's just, it's a unique way to present your mind. Kind of see the thing that I got going on back here. Uh, put some unique shapes around, isolate your images, and it only takes a couple seconds to do but you have to know how to do it and set it up. So uh, let's hop in and take a look how it works. All right, so I have two images I created that I wanna take a look at. Here's the first one. Um, you can see I have my, this is my house I have created. This is my SketchUp model. And I got this kind of bright oval behind it. Um, you can see it, right? See over here, I have some glass. You can kind of see that that's even through there. I can see the, the transparency. Uh, second image I have is this right here where I have, here's my building and it's on the background, but you can see the background is a different style and I even broke it into two separate pieces over here. So I wanna look at how to create this kind of look in layout. So let's hop in, we'll start start with the model. So here I have my model and it's, you can see it's, it's just the house, everything else is turned off. I actually exported this with two scenes. So I have one is the house only one is house and background. So uh, if I look at how, how that works, I just, it's, it's like I said, it's super simple. It's just, I isolated the house and the background. They're on two separate tags. And then I just have them turned on or off as I first saved this model. So I could actually swap between the scenes or if I wanted to, I could actually go in here in the SketchUp model panel, drop down tags, and I could turn off landscape. Same thing, the big difference between doing this, just turning off the tags or using the scene is the background. So in here, I have this, this bluish background color, which is what I wanted to have for the, you know, when I saw the, when I see this whole thing, when I see the landscape, I wanna have some sky behind. But if I wanna jump just to the house, I could turn house only, which is gonna give me isolate that. And then I'm, I'm messing it all up now, so I'd have to reset it. But, uh, but that also gives me this white background. The white background is important. If you use a scene with a white background like this, you can actually use this special effect on your style, which is to turn the background off. This doesn't work with every single background. This is only if you have a plain white background, but have some of these other textured or, or, or you know gradient backgrounds, it's not gonna work the same. But you can see there, it's kind of hard to see, but you can watch the grid lines appear or disappear if that background's turned on. So quite simply, this is how I made that first image. I grabbed a circle. Um, I'm gonna pull up my shape style. I have it filled with pink. I have this, this uh, black stroke, which I'm gonna take up to like, I don't know, four or five. And then I'm gonna draw that circle out. And then all I did was deform it. I just grabbed it and I said, let's take that. Let's stretch it up like this. Let's rotate it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go the other direction, so you can see it's a different picture. Stretch it a little more this way. Actually, it doesn't go with the flow of the house this way as well, does it? But you get the idea. So once I have that where I want that to be, the very. I mean, the only thing I have left to do is grab this and arrange, send to back, and then it's it's behind the model instead of in front of it. And you can see that's. Simple, just super simple way to, to, to add something to it. So for a cover, something a little bit different, different way to visualize your model than just a static image of a of a rotated view. Um, so yeah, pretty easy, not, not difficult. You can see it's just a matter of isolating, putting this on its own tag, and then turning on a style that has that blank background that you can turn toggle off. So let's see how I did this one right here. This was a little bit different. Um, so what I had to do in this case is I actually stacked some viewports. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this again. So here's my standard. I'm going to start by turning on that house and background because I do want the background. And then I'm going to select this and I am going to duplicate this, uh, this group right here or this model window. So I'm going to say copy and I'm going to say edit, paste. So that actually gives me two of these that are exactly the same, right? One on top of each other. So I'm gonna grab the top one. And on the top one, I'm going to switch to my house only view. So give me white. 
transparent background. Everything looks the same, right? But it's not the same because this top viewport is just my house and the bottom viewport is my landscape. And there's a house there too, but I'm covering it up. I'm gonna do something right here. I'm gonna preserve scale on this because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shrink my viewport a little bit so I don't have a problem selecting the bottom viewport instead of the top viewport. Now, this is the cool part. I can do whatever I want to this imagery in the back and it's not gonna affect my house. So I like going to some of these different styles and just trying different looks. You know, let's turn on the yellow. Well, that didn't do much. Try on this one. That's kind of cool. I got kind of a charcoal drawing look in the back and my house stands out in front of it. Kind of neat. And this is the cool part. This is what I started playing with is now let me take this and, you know, start changing the size of that. So if I go like, you know, if I was to grab it and just make a slap, oops, you know what I forgot to do? Undo, undo. I like to make mistakes so you guys don't have to. I did not preserve scale. I do have to click preserve scale and by preserving scale, then I know as I, as I move this around, I'm basically cropping as opposed to, to changing stuff around. So if I do something like that, then I got this unique look, this box in the back. Um, I did like it. So the reason I ended up with those two boxes was because I really like the trees on here, right? So I, I think, I think this is, this is really cool looking. This is unique. <clears throat> Give that, that over on that side. And then all I did at that point was I right clicked and again, copy, edit, paste. And then it's going to paste a copy of that. That copy goes up on top. So I will have to adjust that, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it, drag it over here. So I get the tree on the other side. And then I'll drag this over here. And then this is where I just, I just played around with this till I thought it looked good. I didn't like this break in the end from the model. So that's why I offset these two rectangles a little bit. Um, but you can see quick, easy way to take your SketchUp model that already exists and just do a little bit of work and layout and get a cool look. So this is, I got an issue here, of course, my house is covering up or is not covering up. So it's in back. So I'm going to grab this, arrange, send it back. And there we go. Now I have, again, my house models on the top, this unique background here or something like this. Just a couple of minutes in layout. So that was just a unique thing that I came across. I was I, somebody on the forum asked a question and the answer was check that background tag and get rid of your background. And I'd start thinking, what else could I do by turning that background off? And this came to me as just sort of a simple way to spice up. You know, I, I nothing's worse than having complacent creative. And I think that this is an opportunity to take like an image uh, a way to take what you have as your work, your SketchUp model, and present it in a unique way that stands out. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below and subscribe. Share this file with somebody else. This file. No, don't share the I don't you don't have a file. Share the video with someone else. And of course, give us a comment down below. Let us let me know if you've done this, if you think this would be good, where you think you might use it. Or if you have another tip that helped take other users beyond desktop and get more out of SketchUp. Thank you.